Yeah, good morning, everybody, and a Merry Christmas. And I will sing Infant Holy, Infant Lowly. Infant Holy, Infant Lowly, for his bed a cattle stall. Ox Lowly, Infant Knowing, Christ the Babe is Lord of all. Swift are ringing, angels singing, no bells ringing, tidings bringing. Christ the babe is Lord of all. Christ the babe is Lord of all. And this is the hymn that I say is actually a calendar, a Polish carol. Uh, it's been translated into English. But it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful song about the infant uh, Jesus. And today, as we remember the infant Jesus, we also celebrate the feast of the holy innocents. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. In my brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You take away the sins of the world, reach God. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You will honor the Lord. You will honor the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who the holy innocents confess and proclaim on this day, not by speaking, but by dying, grant we pray that the faith in you, which we confess with our lips, may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. This is the message that we heard from Jesus Christ and proclaimed to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him, while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say 
We are without sin. We deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous one. He is expiation for our sins, and not only for our sins, but for those of the whole world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the Father's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the Father's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the Father's snare. Then when the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrents would have swept over us, over us that would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the Father's snare. Broken was the snare and we were free. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the Father's snare. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Probably it's hard to imagine 
us remember also pray for all those holy innocents that are born. Uh, we continue to uh, see that happen. So so sad, so sad that uh, these children have done nothing on their own. And they, they, they are conceived, they go into the world, and they are living life. And we, uh, today, today let us remember those holy innocents who have been born. Let us remember also the children who are who are my which are part of uh, just are just suffering, suffering from from persecution and hunger uh, in the world. And these children are, are most innocent. But the political strife of countries, we see how 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 families, how children particularly, are are, are horrendously affected by persecution, and they flee or flee countries to, to, to flee from from the uh, from, uh, from from all the evil that's happening, looking for safety, and safe flight. So that let us pray, let us pray today and remember all those holy innocents also. And I also like to remember uh, today is the day of my dad's birthday. So uh, I'd like to remember him in my prayers. He died at the age of 82. Uh, it's easy to remember his birthday because I remember the sound of the peace of the holy innocents. Uh, so I'd like to remember my father also. And uh, so now let us continue. The Lord has promised to hear the prayers of the faithful. Let us lift our hearts and intentions to the Lord. That God's grace, gracious mercy, may be upon every member of His holy church in living out the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may have the guidance of the Holy Spirit and serving with humility, compassion, and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are persecuted. May know God's blessings of courage, perseverance, and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of worship may grow in the love and fellowship of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the holy innocents in our world today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, may they know comfort and the peace of God's loving embrace. In a special way, we remember Rose and Sally, Christopher Erwick, and Father Emmanuel Rich. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our pleas, our good shepherd and divine physician. We implore your mercy in the wake of an outbreak of serious illness and disease. Guide our efforts to prevent temptation and make preparation for those most vulnerable. Assist all professionals and volunteers who work to eradicate the epidemic now spreading. And let us also pray for the success of the vaccines now being distributed. May our actions be marked by your steadfast love and selfless service and never by panic or fear. Restore your comfort and healing to the sick, sustain, sustain and strengthen them by your grace. May they know your closeness as they carry the cross of illness. And may all you have called from this life Come to worship you eternally with all the saints as you grant consolation and peace to their mourners. Holy Mary, health of the sick, pray for us. Pray for us. Saint Joseph, hope of the sick, pray for us. Saint Robert, protector against epidemics, pray for us. And we make this prayer in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Power and Jody Farrell. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Taking 
of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads about the world. In prayer to the fullest of charity, together with Francis of Oak, Blaise our Bishop, and his auxiliary bishops of all the clergy and religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Did all have died in your mercy? Walk with them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Then let us pray for the coming of the kingdom in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. In the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be you. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. In that spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above everything else, and I long to receive you into my soul. I cannot now receive you in Holy Communion, but I beg you to come to me at least spiritually. I embrace you as already there, and unite myself entirely to you. Grant that I may never be separated from you. And uh, just like
like to uh, offer a few comments before I conclude Mass. Uh, I know we started late today, we were doing a little troubleshooting on the sound system, uh, so that's why we started a little late today. Uh, we have the, uh, the, uh, the Feast of the, uh, of the Blessed Virgin Mary coming up, uh, Mary, Mother of God, on, uh, coming up on January 1st, which is Friday, it's New Year's Day. So then we have an anticipated Mass on Thursday. Then we'll still have a regular 8.30 Mass on Thursday morning. And then we'll have the 4 p.m. anticipated Mass for the Holy Day. And then on the Holy Day on Friday, uh, we will have the 8.30 and the 10 o'clock Mass. So that on, on Friday, the 8.30 Mass will be open to everyone because it is the Holy Day. Let us pray. Bring those who refresh and refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. And I will sing, Infant Holy, Infant Holy, verse 2. Flocks were sleeping, shepherds keeping, vigil till the morning grew. Saw the glory, heard the story, tidings of a gospel true. Thus rejoicing, free from sorrow, Praise his voice and greet the morrow. Christ the babe was born for you. Christ the babe was born for you.